All right, what's popping and party people? Y'all know what it is. It's another episode of Pop Talk. We are the pundits of pugilism. This is Professor Nell. I'm signing on for the casual Rand. What up, though? And Boston Jared. Peace. Coach Stay will not be able to join us this week or whatnot, but he will be popping back in next week for his uh, student analysis. But let's go ahead and jump into our first um, segment of that. But before we do that, let me back up a little bit. I want to make sure that you like and subscribe for this channel. This just does us wonders when it comes to getting um, our content in front of you and kind of rearranging the, the algorithm of YouTube. So please make sure that you like and subscribe. It's a really easy thing to do. It costs you nothing. Um, but we want to make sure that um, these episodes keep popping up on your um, on on your your, your feed. So um, please like and subscribe. But with that also, said, also uh, join our Instagram too. Pundits of pugilism. Oh yes, can't forget about the Instagram. What now? We got some exclusive behind the scenes footage. Uh, well, snappers out there. Yeah, we y'all y'all posted all the um. The footage from Crawford uh, Spence week, right? Absolutely. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely check that out. Definitely check that out. And that's a perfect segue to our first uh, segment for the night. And this is who is truly at this moment the best fighter pound for pound in the world. So we've had um, probably the best week in boxing clearly of this year maybe um you know of this decade so far it's, it's it's a new decade so that's not such a lofty claim but we had on Tuesday morning i believe we had Inoue who absolutely dismantled and destroyed Stephen Fulton and then that Saturday in Vegas we had my man Terrence Bud Crawford do a number on uh Errol Spence so this leaves us in a bit of a quandary. And the question is, with those performances and based on their previous ranking, strength of competition and all that, who do we see as the best pound for pound fighter in the world at this time? And uh, we'll start We'll start with you, Boston Jared. Oh man, it was funny you mentioned that because I just pulled up bad left hooks, pound for pound, top 10. Yeah, you know, after the Inoue Fulton fight, um, I think I went on. I was on, I'm on a record on this show as saying that it, look, it was going to take a lot out of Crawford yeah. to be able to supplant Inoue as my number one pound for pound. And man, Craw Crawford went out there almost like he heard me. Crawford went, <laughs> went out there. You listening to the channel? <laughs> and he and he. Oh yeah, hopefully he's a subscriber. What's it called? He went out there and he dominated. Man, he dominated. Now. I'm also on the record as saying somewhat controversially that I believe Fulton was a more versatile fighter. I, I think I think Fulton, even though Fulton isn't rated as highly as Spence on anybody's list, I just from me watching Fulton and watching Spence, man, I, I just think I think Fulton's the more rounded fighter, the more versatile yeah, we, fighter. We, we had a little back and forth about that, but we did, we did. Uh, that that being said, man, Craw Crawford being two times undisputed now. Uh, Kind of puts him in a in a, a category of his own. Um, so uh, that that being said, I, Crawford to me did more than enough to to retake that number one position at um, as as pound for pound uh, pound for pound king of the sport. Shortly behind, right behind Crawford, though, I would definitely have in a way. Uh, number three is going to remain Usyk for me. Uh, I think I said before on a different show that there's nothing Usyk is going to do to Daniel Dubois that's going to elevate him above either Inouye or Crawford. So I'm going to leave Usyk as my number three guy. Uh, as much as I dislike Canelo, look, the man's accolades are what they are, and uh, he is he is he is he is still a good fighter. He remains. Uh, Undisputed at 168 pounds. Uh, he's one of three, I believe, maybe one of four multiple division 
and undisputed champs. I believe Usyk, Crawford, Inouye, and Canelo are the four. Um, he has lost, unlike the other three guys. So that, to me, cements him as number four on the pound for pound list. And number five, man, number five is tough because we've got we've got Jamel Charlo, who is still undisputed in what I believed at the time was the toughest division in the sport. 154 pounds, 18 months ago, two years ago, to me was the was the number was the toughest division in the sport. Uh, and he took a loss, was in some real tough fights in his pursuit of undisputed, but. Um, Despite only fighting in one weight class, uh, I believe that Jamel Charlo's strength of opposition uh, mm. plus his accolades combined with his was combined with his skill set is enough to put him ahead of some of the other guys on the list who may you know who have gone up in weight, uh, who have unified guys like Tiafimo, guys like Shakur. Put them behind uh, Jamel. I believe. Um, I believe Jamel. Like I said, strength, opposition, and skill set. Uh, but but now that I've said Tiafimo, man, Tiafimo, Tiafimo might have a case hmm. after all the after all the crazy shit he said, after all the shit that we've probably said on the show about Tiafimo, he's right back knocking on the door at the top five of the pound for pound list. It's tough for me to rate Tiafimo. You you, you you would rate five. him a, ahead of people like Devin Haney, who doesn't have yeah, one hundred percent ahead of uh, ahead of Devin Haney. Uh, the the Josh T he already beat he already beat uh, Tia Fimo a lot less. Sorry, he already beat Lomachenko a lot less controversially than uh, Devin. Even though I had Devin winning that fight, uh, seven well, five eight four. Yeah, controversy. I mean, the the scores were similarly close. Right. But there wasn't there wasn't nearly enough backlash. Perhaps maybe because it was during the pandemic. I don't know, but I, I seem to remember a lot less backlash about that result uh than there was about the Devin Haney. I maybe I had to go back and watch the fight. To me, the, the Tia Fimo Loma outcome was a lot more definitive, a lot more conclusive than Devin. Uh at least at least uh, as far as popular opinion goes. As far as popular opinion goes. I'm gonna hand it off. I'm gonna hand it off. I'm gonna stop at five, right? I'm gonna no, no, I'm yeah, gonna no, five is good. I think we we all should. I'm gonna do leave. Five. I'm gonna leave off at five. I have Jamel Charlo at five A, and I'll put Tia Fimo Lopez at five B, unless you guys can come up with a, a a compelling argument for who else should be in that five uh, position. Well, I, I can't, I can't put Tio Fimo that high. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, like, yeah. like he, the Lomachenko one, the Lomachenko fight. It, it, it was those middle. It was close, and it was because of those middle rounds, like like five six that 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 Lomachenko took off. Because after that, like seven through twelve, almost uh, I think Lomachenko took all those rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, well, it's it's except for twelve, round. though. I, I think yeah, that maybe, maybe the twelfth round he yeah. did. But but that that you know what I'm saying. So you got half a dozen in one hand, six in the other between Haney and Lomachenko and Teofimo and Lomachenko. But then what about know, Josh Taylor though? What about Josh Taylor? It, it, uh, what, about the, yeah. what about the Josh Taylor win? Okay, but then what about uh what's the name in Australia? Yeah, Cam Bosos is not equal with Josh. Cam Bosos uh, is not equal. Tio Fimo lost to Cam Bosos. Oh, he, you're, talking he, the he, loss. you're talking about the loss. You're talking about the loss to Cam Bosos. That was that was that was a pretty that was a bad loss. That and, was a and, bad and, loss. And Haney dusted him off. So you can't you can't jump Tio. You can't rewrite the Lomo Chink, the Loma Chico history and be like, oh, that fight didn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Yo, but Devin only a one division champ, though. Tio a two True. division champ. And he has the, the Josh Taylor and Vasil Lomachenko as arguably two of the best wins in the sport. Even yeah. though that was a diminished Taylor, it was yeah. Just that's all I'm about to say, man. Game. That that Taylor that we saw, man, it, it is is far far between the the unified champ. So so let's go with my top five. The first three, uh, I agree with uh, Boston it, it, Crawford, hands down. Take my hat off. He got the crown, and, and and I say that because his his future he he's not boxed in because now he can go up to one fifty four and get those belts also. 
So that mm-hmm. that's just a, a champion, 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 champion chugging along. You know what I'm saying? Even in a way, he's a champion chugging along. And then after that, it stops. Because when you go to Usyk, Usyk, you got hats off what he did. But nobody here would pick Usyk over Fury if they fought. No, I don't know. I, I, oh, the I, only thing that gives me pause is is Fury doesn't seem to want to fight this guy. Th- th- exactly. But but if Fury hasn't but, been uh, in the ring in a minute. A, a prime a prime Fury. I I I think the odds. I think the odds are in his favor. So so after that. You can't, you can't, I argue that you can't give Canelo a pass and say, oh, he, he went up and lost to Bevo, but he was daring to be great or, or it don't matter. He, a loss is a loss. He went up there and took that loss. And then I give number, where, where number am I at? Three, yeah, four. That's four. So my four, I'm going to give uh, to better be at. Mm. He got a hundred percent KO. Rate. He, he got a hundred percent KO rate, and, and, and then my, and then my number five is Charlo. I don't understand how people giving Bevo the top five slot, and he his only one credit is he fought a small Canelo. Yeah, so, I, the Bevo being there is is, is so is, I, I don't no, Bevo has some quality. It's just he he he's in that that the he was on he was non glamorous. He was never in the top ten before Canelo, never in the top ten. Yeah, but Bevo you, wasn't. Yeah, Bevo wasn't. Bevo Maybe, was never we'll, in the we'll top ten to before kind Canelo. Of dissect, but when you so, yeah, um, bad left early, hook has him at four, which is crazy yeah. to me. So Haney, I, I it's hard for me to give him Haney. We we've argued this left and right uh, for for months. Uh, he I mean, that's your five, though, months. right? You, you you did your five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just telling you why I didn't pick the other ones. Okay. Uh, Shakur, he went up. He's going up in weight, and he hasn't done anything yet at that weight class. Tank, he's just. I argue, like I would never make an argument for Tank. I, but my argument for Tank is, he's not. Uh, he's not a champion, and he's not holding up the belts. So let him fight whoever the fuck he want to fight, because. He ain't he ain't injecting himself into the pound for pound list. That's that's fair. That's that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I mean, and his his competition, his opponents, they they don't kind of measure up to some of the other ones. And it's like it, it's, it's box office. Like he is definitely box office uh, in there. But um, better be that four. As much as I like better be, that's um. It seems a bit high for better BF. Although you know, to me, I, I wouldn't have him any lower than six or seven. Or four or seven. Yeah, but so you got Canelo, who yeah. you know what I'm saying? He he I I he's a great he was a great champion and he still is currently a, a unified champion, but he's not undisputed. Fighting, uh, yeah, undisputed champion, but he's not fighting those dudes that, that got the potential. To take that those belts away, so I can't give it. I can't give it to Canelo at right now. Like if you say throughout history, yeah, Canelo's the top five. So, or top 10, so you're penalizing Canelo for the guys he hasn't fought. No, he just he's coming off a loss. I can't keep him. No, he's not coming off a loss. He beat John Ryder. <laughs> No, I'm just being technical here. I'm just making sure that we got people <laughs> yeah, listening. No, but, but no, he's, he's, he, he, he's, he's, he's correct. Like, he, yes, he's he beat John Ryder, but he lost to Bevel. So how gotcha. are you going gotcha. in, in in the last two last two fights? You won and won. So you how are you going to jump all these other guys that that Haney that's uh, uh, undisputed and undefeated? Better be have undefeated with three belts. I, I just can't one division, it. one division. Devin Haney, one division. Canelo, but, but, three divisions and so, undisputed. So, so okay, but within his. Within his own division, I wouldn't say he was the overall favorite against any of the fighters that he'll face. And like, like oh, you oh, right now, uh, Benedict, guy, yeah, right like... now, right now. Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. So I don't, therefore, I, I can't, I, I can't say that he's a pound for pound. Like when I say Terrence Crawford, hey, I, hey, I'm, I'm a believer now. Like he, he potentially can keep 
there's, there's nobody at 147. I mean, Boots will be a tough fight, but you know what I'm saying? Here's Crawford still going to be the favorite. Even when he go up to 154, he's still going to be a favorite. In a way, he's going to mm. be the favorite. He's always going he's going to be the favorite like within this weight, 122, and if he moves up, he's going to be the favorite. Probably 126 too, which is which is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Dude, from 108 but to 126. Us Usyk right now is it, 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 just if I say Fury could beat him, but if Fury don't want to fight him, I don't think there's a heavyweight that wants anything to do with him. And then so and then I I, I got to give it to Charlo, that's my top five. All right, yeah, that's that's a good list. I, I think it's hard to argue with with your list. Um, one thing. So you had go ahead, go ahead, Cam. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. We, we just, just I was going to ask you. So count. you, so Randy, you said so Crawford in a way, Usyk, then better BF, and who was five? Charlo, Charlo, better BF, Charlo. Okay, all right. Um, I I think there's a bit of irony in um Boston Jarrett so um being with defending Canelo defending Canelo uh, yeah yeah, yeah. I was, getting I was seen as there, so yeah, people are going to come to this Canelo. channel and they're going to they're going to think that they're in a um a alternate universe they're going to be like no nah, this <laughs> this is not the right channel uh <laughs> yeah but uh got to be honest yeah it proves that we uh we we are uh objective and that um, you know, a lot of our our own predictions and some of our rankings are you know are done based on the based on the statistics. So, with that said, uh, I think three is kind of in you know it it's kind of carved into the you know into the semen and that we have uh, Terrence Crawford. Even though I, I I wouldn't be mad if there was a one A one B with uh in a way because I I love in a way a lot I I think that he has some very very um uh, strong underrated boxing skills, but just based off even though in a way is a four division champion just based off Terrence Crawford being undisputed in two weight divisions and then taking out a top five pound for pound person like taking that person out i think one, one of the reasons we didn't think that he would be able to um jump over in a way is that we thought that this was going to be such a back and forth and competitive fight that it wouldn't give us that wow factor that in a way was able to provide us in his fight but um i'd be damned if he did um so it's got to be terrence crawford at one um naoi in a way is at two uh strong two um Usyk, I I have a little bit of reservations with him at three, but I mean I'm not he he was undisputed at cruiserweight. Uh he's done nothing but win and win dominantly at, at heavyweight. Um even though uh we have nah, to, he's not like, shaky at times. Yeah, yeah. And that's a great point. And we have to realize that a lot of his credibility is being bought off of these two wins over Anthony Joshua and I think we should kind of re-examine that. We, are, we don't, you know, this is this this hasn't been a fighter who hasn't really been the same since um, that that fateful night in a, a Madison Square Garden gets. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, yeah. He really hasn't hasn't looked mentally the same, and he's looked shaky. He hasn't really, but we're gonna, you know, give him credit for what he's done. He he is a heavyweight champion. So my number four is I'm going to be a little bit controversial and I'm going to throw in Devin Haney. Um, oh and I'm not, a Devin, I'm not a big Devin Haney fan. I will, I will state that. But one thing that I will say is that um, all Devin Haney does is, is, is win. Um, he took out, um, you know, Ken Bosos twice in dominant fashion and he also beat uh he took on the challenge and also beat Lomachenko you know there's the, the argument with Tia Fimo but um if if uh, if you were to put up Tia Fimo's last four performances against Devin Haney's last four uh, last four performances I would um unanimously take Devin Haney's performances over there right so there was well, who has fought the better guys though I mean that's that's 
You know, so we've got uh they, you they, got they, they, they both... be your guy and then Lomachenko. That's yeah, Lomachenko and then... Josh Taylor and Tia and Josh Taylor and Vasil Lomachenko is tough to top. Is that is that his last? I don't I don't know if that's in his last four. And you got to remember, it's like there was that 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 shaky victory against. Oh, um, you're right, you're right. So Sandor Martin. That's what I'm saying. His last yeah, four Martin. Fight. And then the fight. Man, right. with, yeah, and then oh, the the fight before that when right, he when right. he first you're moved right. up. All right, now let me let's look here. Let's look. Go ahead, keep talking. I got box rec somewhere here. Yeah, and then my number five. Dun, 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 is going to go to Jamel Charlo. What? Yeah, I'm giving it to Jeff. So I don't, I don't have Canelo Alvarez in my top five. I, I just don't, I don't see what in his performance, his last few performances that have that would um, keep him in that in that ranking. He, you know, he even though he went up against Bivol, he got he got knocked around by 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 Bivol. I wasn't impressed uh, with his victories against John Ryder and Triple G, a 40 plus Triple G. That was um, so I think that at some point you should there should be some kind of punitive damage that comes from not fighting these up and coming fighters and top fighters. We're not just going to kind of keep you around like you're a pound for pound, you know, emeritus, you know, at this time. So um, my top five is, and they know they're gonna get on me. It's like, oh, you you, want, you just want the brothers in there, and I was like, no, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big Devin Haney fan. And, oh, you did have Usyk in there, though, right? Yeah, yeah, I got Usyk yeah, number three. In, yeah, in, in a way, uh, affirmative yeah, I think, I think yeah, our yeah. top three is the same across the board. Yeah, and then yeah, four, I just I I want to give, and like I I do this reluctantly, but I was Devin Haney keeps kind of. Not proving me wrong because Cambosa, he was supposed to win those fights. Um, and he did his thing. It was it was a little shaky against Loma Chico, but I I, I thought it, he showed something in that fight. And you got to give him credit um for being undefeated and being undisputed. And then I'm giving um Jamero Charlo his due um for being undisputed. And then you got to remember that Jamero Charlo, when he was able to um collect all of this hardware within this weight division. Um, this was at the time when there, you know, this weight division was littered with just killers, you know. Right now, they've kind of eaten each other, as um, Boston would say, but um, that shouldn't take away from his status as um, the undisputed champion within that weight division. So um, I think we have, the, the pundits have given you our uh, pun is pound for pound. And we are going to use this talk about the 154 pound weight division as a nice segue into our next segment. And we're going to talk about why um, Charlo may not be a undisputed champion fairly soon. I'm going to stop the video though, 